Hey guys and welcome back. So in today's video, I am revisiting an old friend. I say friend loosely. He's left a comment on one of my videos that I reacted to of him, which was pretty cool. In today's video, I'm going to be reacting to Nanoi Pena singing Put Your Head on My Shoulder by Paul Anka. Um, I don't know if this is completely true because I know in these biopics they love to make up stuff and put little things in there that aren't necessarily true. They just like to embellish things. But Paul Anka was in a relationship with an OG Mouseketeer named Annette Funicello. And allegedly this song is about her. Not sure if it's true. In the biopic of Annette Funicello, A Dream is a Wish Your Heart Makes, there's a scene where he is at her house and he starts playing this song to her and they're sitting at the piano and he just starts singing it and so she puts her head on his shoulder and it's just adorable but I don't know if it's about her or if they just put that in the movie to make you like oh isn't that just so cute I just thought I would throw that out there that it could be about Annette Funicello it might not be but whatever I still like the song even if it's not about her I like that he covers some older songs. I'm also planning to react to him singing Fly Me to the Moon, which is one of my favorite old standard songs. So, but I wanted to react to this one first for some reason. I just, it just felt right. I don't, I don't know. Anyway, we're just going to jump into this reaction and, and see, see how my boy does. if he has an album out or not but regardless he should release an album with nothing but like these old standard hits i know a lot of people do that you have your michael bublé's and your renee olsteads and all that but i think he should do that too Okay, so 
for the most part, he stuck to, like, how the original vocal arrangement was. Like, he didn't put a whole lot of embellishments on it, anything. He didn't do a whole lot of riffs and little thingies that he normally does, but occasionally he would. But the times where he did put a riff or a whatever, a, a, a Nanoi esque vocalization, sorry, my... I can't think today. They were in places that made sense. It made the song a little bit better. It made the song like his own without like overcomplicating it, if that makes any sense. I think I'm getting my point across because he does these interesting runs on words occasionally and he did those and it just sounded really nice. And I like that in the description box, it says shout out to my fellow old souls out there. I'm an old soul. I'm only 33, but I'm pretty sure I was born in the wrong decade. But <laughs> anyway, that's neither here nor there. This is the kind of music that I preferred listening to. Like when I was in high school, I listened to a bunch of the old standards. Some of them were covers, of course. Uh, but I, re I distinctly remember going into Sam's, which is a buy in bulk type of store here. And um, they had this, it looked like a book. It was about this big. It was about a foot tall and six, about, I don't know, however big a CD is. <laughs> it's about maybe five inches wide. And it had four or five CDs in there, all old music, like, and older, and older versions of the songs. It was, it was great. It's how I got introduced to a lot of the older musicians that I like now, like Rosemary Clooney and Perry Como. And of course there were a couple Tony Bennett songs on there that I knew and a bunch of others on there, but I've always liked this old, the forties, fifties standards that were popular then. And a lot of them have been like redone over and over and over. And it's like, God, do I really want to listen to this song by another person? Because, I mean, I've heard this song at least by 20 different artists. But a lot of times you get artists like Nunoy who who have this interesting thing that they do with their voice and makes the song like it's brand new. It's very hard to explain. I don't know how to explain it without, like, just rambling forever and ever. So, with all that being said, I really liked this one. Again, I'm going to reiterate... He needs to have an album out that's nothing but old standards. I don't know what it can be called, but I think that would be super. So, all that being said, I'm going to wrap this video up. If you like these kinds of videos where I react to things, please hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the notification bell to be notified when I have new videos coming out. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.